And Joe, hello fella, how was your Thursday been? Pretty fucking epic. Has it been good, is that what you've been up to? Um, so I was supposed to take my goddaughter and my nephews out for the day. Um, that was the plan. And I got a message from them um, this, mor uh, this morning saying, uh, yeah, my goddaughter's sick. She's not coming out to play. Can I still take the boys out? Yeah, it's fine. Not a problem. Um, I woke up at 7 o'clock, which is earlier than I wake up to go to work. So that was entertaining, shall we say. Um, but yeah, I took my uh, my two nephews out and about. And, um, they've never had a McDonald's breakfast in their life. And they're 14 <laughs> and 11. <laughs> Literally. It's like, I, I can't have kids. You know, medically and all the rest of it, I can't have kids. So every time I take the kids out, it's a case of, cool, you're my children for the day. Go have fun. <laughs> Spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, they got to run around like absolute maniacs. So they enjoyed themselves. So they probably knackered themselves out then. They'll sleep tonight then. <laughs> yes. Well, this is it. It was, it was a case of uh, maybe half past six, we started heading home. Uh, they were both yawning their heads off, and I was just like, don't, don't, you're making me tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. So a good day had by all then? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Looks like you're yeah. ready for Halloween as well, with the, ju the, the jumping yes. word. Yes. Is yes. that a heart I can see on the jump, is it? Yes, is it, it is. So, so people listen on the podcast, and not yes. looking at the video feed. It looks like, a, from where I'm looking anyway, yeah. it looks like a skeleton with a heart. Yep, so it is a uh, full ribcage, spine, the works, and there is an anatomically correct heart in the right place. <laughs> Excellent. Because Excellent. why not? <laughs> well, yeah, why that? I mean, you never see skeletons with organs on clothes. It's always either yeah, a yeah. skeleton or yeah. a, a zombie or something. Yeah, you yeah, never yeah. see part of it like that. So, how has your week been then, fella? Because when, when was the last time we spoke? When, when, when did you come out? Uh, it was about a month ago. Yeah, something in that region. Because I know they came up to stay tonight. I had, had a good time. That was epic. Um, but yeah, it's it's been more of the same. More work. Um, more getting told off by managers for things that I didn't do or things that I did correctly. Um, as one does. Um, but yeah, no, it's been absolute chaos. Um, work has been really busy. Um, they've taken on a load of new starters ready for sort of like Christmas, a load of temps in, so I've been training them up. Um, to be fair, most of them are pretty clued up, especially when it comes to like the customer service side of things, because they've done that in previous jobs. Um, so that's actually refreshing, so we don't have to teach them how to be around customers. Uh, most of them are pretty clued up on that. Um, but yeah, literally it's just been work, dance, hang out with the kids, um, home and bed. <laughs> well, that's good enough though, isn't it? I mean, well, yeah. there's, there's nothing wrong with having a routine, even if routine is the same. Yeah. I mean, so how long are these, how long are people now employed as temps? Because when I was working in retail, yeah. uh, years ago, we talking several about? years ago, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what we're talking. I'm thinking of macro when I used to work for macro. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was college, so I'd be about 18, 19. We used to have Christmas temps would come in. Yeah. They stay for about two or three months. Is it still the same? Yeah, still around that arena. Um, I mean, they do, they come, I work for Carries. Um, essentially, they do keep on a lot of the Christmas temps that want to be kept on. Yeah, yeah. Some of them are literally just in it to cover the Christmas period if they've got a family and all the rest of it. Um, whereas a lot of them are actually in it because they've got nothing better. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're, they're in university training up to, to be whatever, um, you know, part-time job on the side from their actual job. You know, it's, it takes all sorts. Um, but yeah, like I said, the two we've got started last week one has been out of work for like six months and so has been absolutely desperate to get back. And another one literally just works Saturdays because that's the only day he can work. It's just like, fine, whatever. So whenever, while the rest of us uh, are sort of serving customers, doing customer service stuff, he's like really sat at the back of the bar and he is um, 
setting up computers and he is tidying up the back of the bar, stuff like that. Why did I get a ding? Yeah, I was just like, I close you down. What are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, the joys of uh, of doing this on a streaming computer. Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> so why are you getting torn off of things that you have done correct? Uh, right, okay. So essentially, I, um, I've i been dealing with a customer for the, a couple of weeks. Um, you know, privately think about it deliberately. Um, and essentially, essentially uh, ATV company, let's call them Hamsung, yeah. um, where the customer bought a TV, it wasn't right, and rather than just replace the TV, they tried to repair it. The customer was like, no, not good enough. So we stepped in and said, yeah, that's absolutely fine. We need this number, I want to exchange it for you. Not a problem. Yeah, that'd be case. And then... Samsung refused to, uh, my apologies, Samsung refused to uh, give them these, yeah, I don't care. They, um, they refused to give him a number for us to exchange it, and so we were just like, yeah, fine, whatever. And I refunded him for the telly, which I thought, which was what he wanted. Yeah. And then I got a message about five minutes later from my manager, who I'd asked earlier prior to starting, he goes, no, exchange only, but run it by da 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 um, and I was just like, right, okay, well, I'd run it by another manager, and he was just like, yeah, if that's the app, if if you can't get him to exchange it, that's fine. And then um, our sort of like store manager was just like, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that, you shouldn't have done that. And I was just like, I was told to do this. This is what we always do, and you know that. And I literally went through every single thing he brought up, and then the next day. Um, I had, we had a pending refund on a faulty television and I got bollocked off for that uh, because apparently I didn't tell the manager that there was going to be a big refund going through. I was just like, it's a pending refund. It's been in our work chat group for about a week. Back off. <laughs> um, but yeah, fortunately, he's off Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so I do get a brief reprieve. <laughs> Are you still happy there? Yes. Yeah. It's still it's still very much sort of like, oh my god, this is my dream. This is so much. This is what I want to do. But part of me is also like, if I stay here any longer, I will literally shoot myself in the head. It's not. It's not so much the job or the role or the company. It's just, yeah, I can't put my finger on it. It's just something. Um, there's two managers I don't get on with. Three are absolutely amazing, great guys. Um, and it's just like, yeah, I kind of want to move to a closer store because their general manager is absolutely wicked. Um, he, he is absolutely no nonsense when it comes to customers. Mm. And it's just like, yeah, no, you do you. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's really good. There is a, I think there is sort of a balance, isn't there, you've got to find yeah. between... Um, being able to work with people and being able to work with people, if you know what I mean, from a friendly yeah, yeah. perspective as well. Because you yeah, yeah, absolutely. Got a perspective where you see each other on a daily basis, you work with each other, yeah. but there's also a, a, there's also a side where you've got to get on. Yeah, and sometimes exactly. if that relationship is forced, it can make it a bit awkward. You know. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Joe's yeah, yeah. sort of. I apologise. Yeah. Um, Sorry, my mind. microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, well, let me tell you, let me tell you my news. I got loads of news. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. go for I'm it. I'm unemployed as of the twelfth of November. Oh, good effort. So well, sort of. Um, yeah, yeah. So still got long COVID. Ten months yeah. on, about to go into the eleventh month as of the fourth yeah. of November. Yeah. Um, at a stage where I'm about sixty percent better. Uh, yeah. But I'm not getting any better than sixty percent. So right. I was off uh, right. from work uh, for a fortnight, uh, yeah. a fortnight ago, yeah. Um, and it took me about just over two weeks to get better. And by the time yeah. I got better, I went back yeah. into work only to yeah. get ill again. Yeah. So um, my wife Hannah and myself were looking around and we were just like, look, you know, something's yeah. got to give. Yeah, absolutely. It's either, it's either going to be... Me, from a health perspective, yeah. Yeah. or I've got to get rid of work. So yeah. uh, I put my notice in. I, yeah. I'm on a three-month notice. Yeah. 
and um, they decided to cut it short and bring it all yeah. forward um, and make it the 12th of November rather than the end of January. Um, they're, paying, they're paying me right up, uh, yeah. which, is, which is nice, um, yeah, as, as it would have to because it's, it's, yeah. it's my notice. Um, yeah. So, yeah, as of the 12th of November, I am, I am jobless uh, intentionally. Yeah. <laughs> So, I was going to say, I feel that should be a point, point of clarification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, I've uh, sort of I've bagged in a lot of my crypto and um, taken a lot of my savings out. So um, yeah. I've probably got about five months where yeah. I can recuperate. Um, yeah, just work probably. Just employment, like the podcast, yeah. YouTube and things like yeah. that. Um, and just get better. Yeah, Absolutely. So that's going to be very nice. I'm looking forward to that. I, I, I think yeah. the break is exactly what I need after this year. Um, yeah. And having something where I can get better and do things on my own time. Yeah, um, absolutely. Having to get up at half past four or five o'clock in the morning to get ready for work yeah. and be sat down at my desk that's right yeah. behind me at yeah. nine o'clock. Because um, I am very slow and everything yeah. has taken a lot of time and a lot of effort to get things done. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's that's sort of main part of my news, really. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't as long as I thought I could have kept that going for. Um, but yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's that's really nice. You know, it's going to be nice over Christmas, not to have to yeah, have absolutely time to be able to yeah because we travel around to see the family and everything. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. going to be a nice, a nice little, um, a nice little break, a nice little mm. break. So and I really bet you're looking time. forward to it. Oh, absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Because you know when there's a couple of quid in the bank that can come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I, mean, is... I mean, pretty much as long as I've known you, you've been working. Yes. Now, I've never stopped. There's been like maybe 12 months at max, you know? Where I, when where I, I, I think the only time I never worked, sorry to cut you dead there. Yeah. The only no, time no, no. I, I didn't work uh, was when I closed the businesses. Yeah. And I moved back with mum for six months and went on the dole yeah. there before I moved to Bristol, yeah. and that was 13 years yeah. ago. Well, almost 13 years ago. Um, so Jesus wept. Yeah, November to the... Well, actually, no, almost 12 years ago. November the 29th, 2009 is when I left. Yeah. It's almost 12 years that ago. That sounds about right, yeah, because I... Because, yeah, we pretty much moved in to the same sort of like strip of buildings within like a couple of weeks of each other. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, so yeah. And then I think you and one of our other friends left early. Yeah. And I was the only one there that was wanted to stay. Yeah. But then yeah, I yeah, yeah. with Apple and I thought, well, yeah. now's the time to sort of, uh, yeah. you know, sell up. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, sell and accounts and uh, mosey on out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I have, and and the thing is, I've always worked like you know at least one job, but I've always yeah. I've had uh, sort of self employments with YouTube and everything else. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah before few, that, a few bits of music, a few bits of bands yeah. and stuff like that. Nothing ever heavy, um, but um, yeah, it's going to be really nice actually, just to take a bit of time yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, got better be time. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of um, a lot of plans for this podcast as well, and uh, I really nice. want to. I really want to spend a bit of time, and uh, you know, in my own time rather. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Sort of, uh, and sort of attack things differently. So, uh, are you are you are you doing anything for Halloween this year? Um, potentially, potentially not. Um, I am definitely taking my goddaughter out trick or treating if she's well enough. Um, which is going to be quite sweet. And then when I come home, depending on what I'm working on the Monday, I will either be watching um, horror films or playing Left 4 Dead. Oh, nice. Oh, have you played Back for Blood? No. No. It is on my list. Mate, what are you doing? I know. Left 4 Dead is great, mind. Left 4 Dead is yeah, yeah. Back for Blood is made by the left. By the, for the, by the, by the team, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember you getting excited that. for it when I came up to visit. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I played the open beta they had in August. Yeah. How was that? Um, the AI, as I said to you two months back, the AI was about twenty years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brand new graphics engine. Well, not yeah. brand new, you know. Newish. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just an updated Left 4 Dead. 
um, yeah. graphics engine, but with 20-year-old AI, it seems like. Yeah. Um, so I, ha- I haven't bought it yet. I'm, yeah. Because um, I played the open beta. Yeah. I, That's I'm jaded, sure you. Well, it has slightly. I ha- I yeah, yeah. Normally, I don't read reviews of games which, which yeah. are coming up, but I don't play open betas on purpose. Yeah. And I can't find anywhere for this bloody iPad to go. Um, <laughs> and I'm just knocking everything here. I'm just going to have to put it down here on the floor somewhere. There we are. So, um, yeah, when it said open beta, I thought, wow, because I, I love Left 4 Dead. Yeah. And Left 4 Dead too. I mean, damn, man, they're, yeah. they're still great games. They're still classics. Absolutely. So I thought Sorry. I'd jump on the Back for Blood sort of bandwagon, play yeah, it, yeah. enjoyed it, but it's not worth 50 quid. Yeah. I mean, devs that. need to be paid, right? There's obviously thousands yeah. of hours of, of, mm. of development which have gone into this game. God, yeah. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not saying don't buy it, but at the same no. time what I am saying is when it drops down by 20 quid, I think I'll be more inclined to buy it. Christmas sale, hit it up. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, they've got the Halloween sale on now. Uh, I was checking it out this afternoon, and I was hoping the Back for Blood was going to be in there because it's yeah. quite a horrific zombie Halloween y sort of, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's not. Appropriate. It's, uh, but it's not because it's just too new, I think, isn't it? You know, there's, yeah, it's possible. You know, I'd, I'd have liked to have seen it like 10% off, but yeah. Yes. It, it may come, but. but Actually, I tell you something. Sorry, I cut you dead. dead. No, no, no. Uh, Go for it. Humble Bundle. Yeah. This month, um, they've got a load of fighting games, including Power Rangers. <laughs> uh, Mortal <sighs> Kombat 10, Power Rangers, uh, Injustice 2. Um, load of them. Load of them. I, I bought Combat them back. Injustice sounds good. For those of you who are listening at home, um, when uh, John mentioned Power Rangers, or JD, my apologies, <laughs> uh, I literally sighed and covered my face with my hand because oh my god did I ever did I ever tell you the story of how I got banned from watching Power Rangers as a child no yeah that's that's a fun one so it's one I I actually wrote a stand up comedy set about it this is how much how much fun I found it later in life Um, essentially uh, we were at a church Christmas party event, the Sunday school party, essentially, uh, which was, you know, absolutely dire. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh, you're talking easily when I was maybe 10. Oh, right, okay, it's not like... So I was quite back. Yeah, 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 no, oh, good lord, no. Uh, but yeah, so I was a wee nipper, my brother had a tendency to follow me around like a lost puppy, which he still does to a certain extent. And I had 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 it had enough. I'd had it up to here, and I just decided, right, that's it. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. And so, me being me and watching Power Rangers and such as a kid, just unleashed my kung fu fury on my brother. Uh, except it wasn't necessarily the kung fu you're thinking of. It's more kids running around and jumping and yelling hiya. I was just uh, going to say, did you know he kung fu were ten? No, good lord, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, fine. But we didn't necessarily pick a discreet place to do it. Smack bang in the middle of the hall, uh, with everyone watching. Oh. Yeah. That was not fun. Mm-hmm. Or rather, the, the, the fighting was the absolute spanking afterwards. Really not. Yeah. Was, it, was, it, was, it true, was it true to Power Rangers, though? That's the question. Oh, good lord, yeah. It was, was it? Yeah, it was absolutely florid and overwrought and absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Did you have sparks flying off you whenever you hit each other as well? No, we didn't. We had managed that at age seven and ten. Yeah, you missed the <laughs> trick there. Yeah, I dare say. Although <laughs> I don't, no one in there, no one in there smoked, so I couldn't even just rob a lighter and try it. <laughs> no, I, I, I really went off them. I, I, well, I wasn't really into them when I was a kid. Yeah. I was into more, um, what was I into when I was a kid? Transformers, as my thing. Yeah, yeah. And anything that wasn't Transformers wasn't worth yeah. watching. You know? No, no, no. So, um, and I'm, I'm talking about proper Transformers, not Gen 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the OG. Yeah, 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 exactly. Not this Beast Wars shite. Um, <laughs> and, um, 
when was it? I think it was when the film came out a few years back. That was about six or seven yeah. years ago, wasn't it? Now I think something like that. Yeah. Even longer. I thought, you know what? This is going to be a bit of a grin because I loved the Megazord. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to be on Transformers. You know, every click yeah. together, and, and yeah. I thought, yeah, that that's pretty wicked. I thought I really like that. That's 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 pretty dope. I like that. Um, but I really liked the film, and then it, the the film got uh, slammed. Uh, Absolutely, from what I remember. But um, I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Uh, like I say, it's never necessarily been my cup of tea, but each one to their own, as they say. Yeah, I mean, just look at it. 2017. The film came out. Yeah. So it's morphing time. Yeah, look at that. That's great. That is. 5.9 out of 10, 50%. Oh, come on, it's got to be more than that. I, mean, I think people are being far. It, it made $142.3 million, and all people are giving it is hard, it's 50%. I mean, that should be money. Yeah, people are being far too critical, though, I think, about stuff like yeah. that. You know, well, this is it. It's I, hard, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. It's, it's something that a lot of people are into, and I just don't get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's fine. There's plenty of that on yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it. I mean, I had a rare experience um, last week, was it? Hang on, let me check my actual friggin' account. <laughs> you can account tell we're there. getting too old. Are you going to check your calendar? But what happened yes, last week? Yes, <laughs> last Monday. Last Monday, right. I got to see a pre uh, preview of Dune. Oh, Dune. The new yeah, Dune. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've watched it maybe 15 times since. What, the new one? Yeah. Are there sand rooms? Yes. Nice. It's absolutely epic. Uh, it's it's one of those things that I waited for a good Dune adaptation on film for basically as long as I've been reading it. Um, well, the first film was good. It was okay. I will, you know, it's not something I... As, as, as someone who calls himself a Dune fan, you know, I have to watch that and think of it as being inspired by Dune, because otherwise it gets super angry. <laughs> really? See, I don't get like that with yeah. I look at it and go, oh, well done. Yeah. Oh, no, no, absolutely. I will quite happily sit down and watch it. I mean, the week before I went with my mate and we watched the original 84 David Lynch film. It was amazing. Yeah. And then, yeah. literally about three days later, we went and watched the new one. I was just like, okay, this is fucking awesome. How long is it? Is it like one of those four-hour epics? Ah, oh, no, no, it's about maybe two and a half to a three-quarter hour. Oh, but it's only so part one. Me. What? It's part one. Oh, it's so basically, a film then. Yeah, you're looking at about five, six hours, or oh, grand total. Oh, yeah. But at least part... You know, I'm happy because part two has been greenlit and it's coming out in 2023. Oh, nice. uh, that was quick. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, literally, they, they ended it right before I called it. Me, a couple of my mate, me and my mate had been reading Doom since we were teenagers. Yeah. And we were just like, right, where's the film going to call it? Because it's all, we've already, we already know it's a part one. Where's the film going to call it? Right. And we literally said, right, it's going to end at this point. And uh, we argued about the semantics of what's going to happen when it gets to that point. Yeah. Uh, my mate literally just turned to me and goes, I fucking told you. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, it's all right, fine, shut up, leave me alone. So how come you've watch it 15 times? Is it one of those tickets you can just keep on going back all the time? Yeah, um, I have uh, Limitless with Odeon. Oh, you... Wow. Yeah, so it's it um, it's not the only film I've seen multiple times. So um, I saw the new Suicide Squad about four times. Not any good? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it's see, not... my my problem with anything like that is once you yeah. reach a film three times yeah. in about you know yeah, yeah, yeah. two or two or three year gap, it can't be good. Nah, it's it's okay. Peter Capaldi's part in it I thought was inspired, but that's a about as far as I got. <laughs> hey, Doctor Who? Yeah. No, in, in Suicide God. Oh, no, no, no. He's... Um, oh, so they missed a trick there. I, yeah, they did. I can't remember his character, but essentially he's got a big prosthetic head with a load oh, of... Uh, Mr. Mr. What's yeah. his name? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. I saw the trailer for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was okay. Um, seen Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings a couple of times. Like I say, doing about 15 times. What was that other one? 
Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. What's that? The latest Marvel one. Oh, I don't know. I lost. I lost. Yeah. The only thing I look forward to in Marvel is Venom. Yeah. Venom and Carnage. That's pretty much the only two that I look forward yeah. to now. Yeah. So this is it. Um, going to see Venom now uh, tomorrow after work. Oh, nice. Yeah. No spoilers, please. Nothing on Facebook. Absolutely so. not. Absolutely none, don't you worry. Because I won't watch it until it comes out when I buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, if you know you're going to be watching at least two films a month, yeah, you're like, okay, it pays for itself, in essence. And it's just like, given the fact that doing this in the cinemas, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll be rich in that until it's going to the cinema. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the plan is to take my nephews to watch it. Well, one of my nephews is watching it on Saturday with his friends. So it's just going to be like, I, I'm expecting a phone call afterwards going, Uncle Joe, what on earth is this, 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 this? <laughs> Have they read the books? Nope. Mm. Okay. So I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where they know it's my thing. I love Dune and the whole sort of like, Universe it surrounds. I think you have to uh, find sure it's a do universe. <laughs> oh Jesus God! Why? Come on, get a grip. <laughs> That's a golf clap. That's a golf clap. <laughs> but yeah, it is very much referred to as a do universe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's one of those things I've looked forward to so for so long. I mean, yeah. literally, we we went to the premiere. Me and my me, me and two of my mates, and we met. Um, one of our mates is really crafty. He does um, props and stuff for films and TV shows. And so he made us each one of the masks that they wear in the film, one of the, what the Fremen wear. Oh, right. And literally, he just made it around um, one of those sort of like stretchy neoprene type face masks. Okay. So he literally just hot glued everything onto it. So it still functioned as an actual mask. Yeah. But we literally just walked in with these masks on. Ow. I thought we were cool as shit. No. <laughs> you really weren't. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. But for the second film, my mate is planning to do a full, uh, oh, excuse me, a full frame and still suit. I see. I don't know what that is, mate. Just go to the sandworm. Job done. Just go yeah. to the giant sandworm. Do like Chuck did. <laughs> Chuck. TV show. Back in the day. Oh, me. I can't remember that. Ah. Uh, I, I still remember, remember. Chuck's sister. Yeah. Yeah, she was nice. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember anything else. Oh, he was just, was he a spy working in yeah, Best Buy like, or something like Best Buy? Yeah. It, yeah. You got the rough, the basic gist of it. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I don't really know what, to, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my camera yeah. from outside. I yeah. think someone's about to knock my door. And <laughs> my, my, my mic on mute for a second while uh, yeah. they knock the you door. Do. You do, you dude. I'm just looking to see if they come to us or if they go into next door because it's the same sort of shared drive. Yeah. No, it definitely looks like they come into us. Ooh, I don't know. No, do you know what? I'm going to let it ride and see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I think. Hang on. All bets are closed. Down. Yeah, going down for two. Aye. Oh, no, I don't need two handers really there. Oh, hey. nicely done, Hannah. Intercepted, no dogs barking, nothing. Brilliant. Look at that. Um, God, I love it. Yeah, no, Dune, I, I played, I, wa I watched yeah. the film, the original. Yeah. And yeah. I thought it was great. But I was more of the uh, the game player. So yeah, I used yeah. to play Dune on the Amiga. Yeah. Um, and I played that to death. Um, so I, I don't really know it's anything right. really about the, the Dune universe. Yeah. yeah, I'm still using that. Um, you to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think I'm going to have to give it a watch. It's, I've yeah. seen the trailer. It looks spectacular. It is absolutely insane. Yeah. It's it Again, it's one of those things that I would quite happily sit and watch for hours upon hours upon hours. It's like 2010 me watching Big Bang Theory over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. It's just something I can quite happily binge. Yeah, uh, now I can't. I, I absolutely cannot stand Big Bang Theory. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? Now, uh, I was just something that 
me and Becky used to watch constantly. It was always on TV. Yeah, right. And it's not so much that I hate the show, it's more the fact that I'm just yeah, right. like... No, it's not even that. It's just like, I don't know why. It's just not funny anymore. I think it's a lot a lot to do with this of its time as well. Exactly, yeah. You know, I think I can watch... I, I, did I watch series 10? I think I did. Yeah, I think I watched all of it. Um, but I can't. I couldn't watch further than season four when I did yeah. it a few years back. I think it was season four. Yeah. It was quite early on. Um, yeah, yeah. I couldn't watch any more than that. It was a great show. Had some yeah. fantastic scientific elements um, mm-hmm. and really appealed to geeks like, like the It crowd did. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know? um, but I think, it, I think it is of its time as well a bit. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, what films are you looking forward to coming out then? I don't know because I don't really keep up with it all that much. It's a case of I've known Dune was coming and I studiously avoided uh, any and all trainers I wanted to go in straight. And yeah. then I went to watch Free Guy uh, with my friend and oh, the trailer cool, happened. Isn't it? Yeah. Any good? I loved it. Yeah, it's absolutely it hilarious. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I won't spoil it but in case you want no, it. No, but it's, no, yeah. no spoilers. <laughs> no. But it's, yeah, it's inspired. Taika Waititi is absolutely insane. Oh, yeah, he is. I mean, look, look at what we did in The Shadows. Yes, fair point, well made. You know, um, and wasn't he also in Flight of the Concords? Wasn't he one of the Concords? I believe so. I thought it was... Uh, was he? I'm going to have to Google that. Yeah, to go ahead. That. I'm pretty sure he was with... Um, what's his chops? The other New Zealand gent that was with him. Um, for the light of the Concords. Yeah. Uh, oh no, it wasn't. It was Brett McKenzie and Jermaine Clement. Jermaine Clement, that's the guy I'm thinking of. There we go. I could have sworn it was Taika Waititi. Oh well. Uh, yeah, what we did in the shadows. Not yeah, that. absolutely. That's a fantastic TV show and a good film. That is. It, it is one of those ones that I will just keep going back to because I know I will enjoy it and I know pretty much what's coming. So it could be on in the background when I'm painting or writing or whatever and I'll just be like oh yeah and I'll just carry on same as it crowd yeah because even though Graham Linehan has turned into an absolute turf wank stain he did write some very good stuff back in the day he wrote some fantastic things black books it crowds yeah. um mine's gone blank <laughs> the other ones Brain uh, has escaped me. <laughs> yeah, he's written but, yeah. fantastic ones, you know, really. Yeah. Um, but Black Books and Ed Crowd will remain one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, no matter what, you know, no matter what childhood indulgences I loved back in the day, you know, you've got Black Books and you've got It Crowd. And personally, to top it all off, to the best thing I've ever watched. Fuck your hair. Oh, yeah. I never really watched that. No. Yeah. Carry on. As, as a kid, it was the bee's knees. Transformers was great. Uh, Thundercats was great. Um, but when um, Fuck your hair came out, I was about the age of the main character, the boy. Right. And I was just like, okay, I can see myself doing that. I can see myself going off and being crazy. So it, it definitely spoke to a lot to sort of like what was inside my head at the time, uh, trying to escape and da da da. Um, but yeah, it, still to this day, you put you to end, you say anything back your hands, it's like right, what are we talking about? Did you uh, did you watch the Thundercats revival? The oh, the, no, I point blank refused. Mate, it was brilliant. Absolutely really? brilliant. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely like fantastic. The, the, the stupid derpy shit. What stupid derpy shit? What are you talking about? Oh, right, yeah, because after... Right, I'm with you now. Because there was the Thundercats that was sort of like done very much in homage to the original style. And then, more recently, there was, I think it's Thundercats Ho, which is their traditional cry. And they literally look like um, 
someone like a knockoff Rick and Morty. Oh no 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 not that no it wasn't that it's not Young Thundercats isn't it or something oh, like so, that. Oh something um, along the way. No, the one that I'm talking about was about I'm going to say seven to ten years ago. So far I've been wrong yeah. with that and every single time I've said it. But, no, um, I, I was going to say yeah, 2011 ish from memory. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, yeah, that was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, it was brilliant. I really, uh, I really got into that. Where is it? Um, yeah, I can find the original series, 1985. There we are. That's it. 2011, mate. Well done. 2011, 2012. I have a vague recollection of visiting you in... Because were you in Bristol by that point? Yeah, I was in Bristol from yeah. 2009. That was it. I came up to visit you for the first time since you moved to Bristol, where I was not with a mutual friend of ours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I bought your Mac Mini off you. I bought the Mac Mini off you. Yeah, you bought a Mac Mini off me quite recently. Yes. Oh, yes, you did buy a Mac Mini off me. Yeah, the old style yeah. Mac Mini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, you, of course you, had you did. no idea where it went. And it was just like, I bought it. Guilty. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I think then. I think it was, it's sitting yeah. there, your Mac Mini is. Yeah. I'm looking at it. Yeah. But no, yeah, no, yeah. no, you're talking but about yeah, the one that I had. 2009 right. Mac Mini, yeah. Yes. But yeah, no, I have big recollections of us sort of doing a land style file swap, and some of that was on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, quite, quite possibly. Yeah, Thundercats was fantastic. Yeah. Um, it was hard to get hold of as well. You couldn't buy it. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Now, but I, I, yeah. it came out years later. Uh, yeah. Because I bought it on iTunes a little while ago, but it, it wasn't yeah. there for no. at least four or five years. Because yeah. yeah, I know it was yeah, sort of like it's an American thing. Um, it was primarily aired on sort of like American channels. Yeah. I don't think you watch it on terrestrial over here. Um, but this is how how much my love of Thundercats is. I had the toys as a kid, so I had Lion on, I had um, all the others. And for years and years and years and years and years, I begged my parents for Why the Kitten, Why the Cat. Oh, yeah. Couldn't find them anywhere. Yeah. 11th, 11th, um, no, Christmas before my 11th birthday, I got Kit and my brother got a cat, and I was <laughs> over the moon. I was just like, I'm not into toys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they are some, they are up there in pride of place. No, I, um, I had, I didn't have Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat. I had, what did I had? I had uh, Lion O, Chitara, <laughs> Yeah. Panther, the Thundercat, the Thunder Tank. Yeah, I had um, that. Which was fantastic because it was huge. Oh, yeah. yeah. It really yeah. was brilliant. It was uh, literally sort of like as broad as I am now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. I had a few more as well. I can't remember what the other ones. But yeah, I, I always liked them. I always thought it was a really good yeah. concept. Yeah, exactly. You know. Uh, I mean, to this day, there is something about. Um, I'm into ASMR and stuff like that, yeah, so yeah. I like sort of like raindrops on tin roofs and all that nonsense. But there's a character in Thundercats, the original cartoon, called Captain Shiner. Right. Oh my good lord. That voice just sends shivers straight down my spine. And I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs> I don't remember him. He remember. was, um... Basically, he was a sort of villain, sort of good guy, um, and they were. He was transporting the uh, the Thundercats across um, some sort of like oh, yeah. past terrain, and it also happened that there was gas overhead that would knock them out, and um, he had them over to uh, Slave and all the rest of them. It wasn't Panther? It was Panthro. That's yep. Right. Panthro, Chitara, Tigra. Uh, Wally Kit, Wally Cat, Jaga, Lino, Snarf, Snarf, Snarf! Oh god, if I was there, I'd hit you for that. Yeah, I know. That's the most annoying bloody thing. <laughs> I'd loved him. Oh, mate. No, I, that was just one of the. It, it, you can get a cartoon character like that in every single yeah. cartoon or film, didn't you? There was. Um, Jar Jar. Uh, what's his name? Jar Jar Banks. Yeah. No disrespect <laughs> to the character actor that played him, but the no, 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 inside, no. inside Star Wars, Jesus Christ, I really yeah, wanted to hurt him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I couldn't stand That's him, and uh, Snarf was the other one. I had the Snarf figure, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and he was the most useless figure, because from what I remember, his arms would move, and I think no, no, no. 
if it's the same one I'm thinking of, his arms would move, his tail would rotate, and that was it. Yes, that's right. Yeah, it was the most useless figure. And he was quite yeah. short and fat as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, very dense figure. Yeah, the most yeah. useless thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I liked Thundercast. I thought it was a really good, really yeah. interesting concept because you had Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, as they were yeah. here. Yeah. Um, and, well, the only other thing I used to watch yeah. was Transformers. <laughs> yeah. That was it. So not very, not very diverse. But uh, uh, I know what I liked. I liked, this, I liked that, Transformers. this is it. I mean, there wasn't all that much that lasted when we were kids because there was Transformers, there was Thundercats, and that was about it. No. Lots of other things. There was Visionaries. Do you remember them? Yeah, I, I still have some of their toys, but that, I, I only caught that for like a season or two. I think that was only out for a year. Um, yeah. Visionaries. Well, this is it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Fair play, He Man, yeah. Um, the Real Ghostbusters. Yeah, that yeah. was a bit later on. That was good. Mask. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit too old for that then. Was that 94, 95? No, no, no. This was when oh, I sorry, was. Oh, sorry, you talking about Mask and Cobra? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mask and Cobra. As, yeah, as, yeah. I think it was a Jim Carrey film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Mask. Um, I never yeah. got into GI Joe. No, oh, good I never got into GI Joe at all. But Mask, yes, yes, yes. I did get into Mask. Um, that was, they that had was massive really presets, didn't they? With mask, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge presets. I um, still, to this day, loathe my parents for not getting me Ecto One from the Real Ghostbusters when I was a kid. I had the Ecto One. I, I had the plasma. No, I didn't have the pack. Yeah. My mate had the pack. I had the the trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is it. I had the um, I had the Nerf sort of like blaster thing, and it shot these the yellow blaster. packs. Yes. Yeah. And it would yeah, yeah. put the yellow pugs in yeah. the back. Yeah, that's it. And then you just go, Hunk. it was yeah, great fun. Air, air driven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was good fun that was. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was good. Yeah, it's a great toy. I think I've still got a, yeah. lot, a lot of them. Yeah. I got a rare Transformers toy. I got Sharkticon. Oh, nice. Um, turned out that's very rare, apparently. Um, yeah. yeah. I've still got that. Um, my mate Sam, you remember Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's got um, Unicron. Nice. Huge planet from yeah. Transformers the movie. Yeah. Um, he had Unicron. Don't know if he still got it. I was probably to be yeah. anxious. But yeah, he had Unicron. Nice. That was great. That was. I love that. Yeah. I don't. Think, I don't think we ever played that. I think it was just on top of his shelf. Yeah. Just so out of the way. You shall not touch. It was so rare. You know, you well, just couldn't it. get them. And when you could, they were so expensive. Yeah. Exactly. Just sat on top I mean, of on top of the shelf, really. Yeah. Um, I remember I had a white Optimus Prime. Now I don't know whether that no, was just no, because no, it was. No, 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 that was Ultra Magnus. I beg your pardon, good sir. Yes. Come on now. It was. Hey, <laughs> I haven't watched this show since I was this big. Yeah, um, and I'm proud to say I have as well. <laughs> good for you. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it was. It looked. It literally looked like someone had played with. Um, Prime so much literally just being stripped back oh, to his undercoat. Yeah. Um, I, had, I had a couple of them and uh, various other ones. Uh, but my brother a couple of years ago got into the Masterpiece Transformers. Have you seen those? No. What's that? Oh. So they're basically um, bigger versions of the toys we had as a kid, but they are like insanely detailed. They cost hundreds of pounds. Are they still diecast? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So they're more based on the Michael Bay movie? No, that's not so much. There's still a lot of G1 stuff out there. Is so, it? like, there's jazz and there's... Um, oh, God, my, my, my geek red is going to fail me here. Shockwave. Um, well, yeah, they're, <sighs> they're, they're, practically, they're practically being releases of Gen 1. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so literally, you've time. got uh, you've got this. Um, yeah, there's one. I there's a couple I bought my brother, which was Ratchet, um, Jazz, and God, Soundwave, and he got Soundwave that came with um, Razorbeak and Rumble and Ravage. Nice, good. Well, and I was just like, thank you. And I was like, what? What about Rumble? 
what did I say? I said Razor right Beak, Ravage, Rumble, and something else. There was a, there was a fourth one as well, but God only knows. There was there was Rumble, and there was an identical one but different colours. That's right. And damn if I can. I don't care if you don't tell me. Oh yes, you do. Come on, Joe, you care. Yeah, there we are. Look, Optimus yeah. Magnus White. Yeah, it was an yeah. exact rip off of of Optimus. Yeah, that's it. That's how you keep. Do you know the story of Transformers? The toys. Oh, would, would they would they created to then sell the cartoons or something um, along, along that vein? No, it was vice versa. The cartoons, oh, right. well, the cartoon came out. From what I remember, the cartoon yeah. had really come out or was coming yeah. out, but they didn't yeah. have a proper toy line. So yeah. they went to the Americans went to Japan and yeah. found uh, a base. Well, they found but basically um, there's a Netflix special on it. Um, yeah, and I, well, I've watched it so many times. It's just so interesting, and I wish I was yeah. in that job when I could yeah, yeah, yeah. halfway around the world to look for toys. I'd be well into that. Um, and they found all these. I'm coming, but they were called um, Gobots. Remember, right? No, Gobots were the rivals to Transformers. That's and it. They failed because they're shit. Spectacular. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they found they found the exact uh, toys. Yeah. And they were they were called something else. Like, uh, remember, Soundwave was called ra was it Radio Robot or Disco Robot, something like that. Something they, on that. Megatron yeah. was called Gun Gunbot. Yeah. Um, and they basically took him and um, painted them different colours, stickered them up, yeah. and whatever, and and you know. Yeah. They became Off Transformers. Yeah. Lush. Yeah, it's a it's a great story, and if you ever get a chance to watch it on Netflix, it's uh, I think it's the Toys That Made Us. It's called. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a there's, there's a series, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I, I started watching that. Yeah, it's really good. They've also got the, the movies that make us and made us as well, which has got a lot of a lot of good horror movies like Halloween, uh yeah. Friday the thirteenth, Freddy and stuff yeah. like that. Proper horrors as I call them, you know. Yeah, yeah. But um yeah, Transformers man. Yeah. Stupidly stupid knowledge about Transformers. Yeah, <laughs> I don't doubt it in the slightest. They, they were just so interesting, an alien race yeah. of robots that would that could scan anything and change into that yeah. object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's amazing. Was brilliant. And who, yeah. which looked, they looked, they looked humanoid. They were bipedal. Yeah. You know, and they talked, and, and they enough. spoke English. Yeah, which was thoroughly helpful. <laughs> it was for crash landing in America. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah well done, Tom. Universal language translator, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a question uh, to ask you. Yeah, yeah. I think you said that you've been playing this game, or you were going to play it, or you were going to buy yeah. it, or you weren't interested. I remember you said something about it. Um, so <laughs> I was looking over to see if I could find it. It's in my wish list on Steam. I think it's called. Uh, no, it's not Death Proof. That's a film. Um, it's something similar to that, though. I think it's called. I won't bear with me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is oh god, Death Loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you played it? I have not, uh, because I do not have a PS Five or an Xbox Series X. Got a PC. I do have a PC. Do you know what? You actually got me thinking now. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's currently down on Steam, and I was wondering whether. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I. Yeah. I am tempted. I won't lie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Don't really think. <laughs> like I did with Cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That bloody game. I can yeah. beat though. Yeah. Done better than me. Did you watch any of the videos I put up on, on yeah. the record? Did you see yeah, yeah, yeah. the bugs with oh, yeah, on, yeah. on the dance floor with them just yeah. holding one pose and just sliding around? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was Brilliant. That game could have been the best RPG. It, it could have it could been amazing. Been so much. Because yeah. I remember you were like ranting and raving about it like a, couple, a year or two before it came out because you were following it yeah, quite closely. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, okay, okay, let's see what I, you know, let's see what comes up, comes along. And yeah, I, it just like sucked me in. And I, but at the time I was streaming heavily like every other night. Yeah. Uh, I haven't streamed in forever, and thus I haven't played the game in forever. Yeah, yeah. No. It is something I do really, really want to get back to, but I don't necessarily know whether I want to stream it. I'd rather just go. 
get it done, and then just yeah. play single player, man. Yeah, just well, just that's it. That's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna finish that up. Then yeah, I'll probably uh, get cracking on that after I finish work tomorrow. It's it, they've done a lot to it. They've yeah. They've released a load of patches. They've released a load, a load of bug and stabilization fixes. Yeah. Nice. But the problem is, uh, when we're the best one in the world, the developers are getting very used to doing that, putting out a half-made yeah. game and then patching yeah, yeah. it as it's out. And yeah. I hate that. No, I no, 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 I'm detest it. it. Being in yeah. a very similar field to developers, yeah. I absolutely hate that. Yeah. And um, with Cyberpunk, the trailers, it's a bit like No Man's yeah. Sky. If yeah, you've yeah. Ever watched that? They hyped up so Not much. A promise. It came out. It was nothing like when it came out. Exactly. <laughs> it was nothing like the trailers. Um, I it's completed like, Cyberpunk. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry John. No. Go on. I completed uh, Cyberpunk because it cost me like thirty odd quid, and I thought, to yeah. myself, Do you know what? I'm gonna because I, I bought it in a sale. Like twenty four, actually twenty four ninety nine, I think, if I remember correctly. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm gonna keep on playing it till I complete it. And the game, the storyline is fantastic. What well, lets it down is the, the myriad of, of bugs, glitches, and I, I recorded the footage, put it all up yeah. on JD Quad, but yeah. it literally took me, um, I think I added up my footage, came to something like 24 hours, I think. Something but, in that arena, yeah. But the game, when I was playing it, it I played it for 57 hours. Because it was because crashing. bugs and crashes and yes, yeah, just going back to desktop. I have because I remember when you I visited when you recorded it, but you hadn't released it yet, and I remember yes. you saying, "Yeah." And it was I, like, I needed to finish it, and I'm glad I yeah. did. I'm gonna go back and play it once they start releasing the DLCs next year. Yeah, but absolutely, um, man, it could have been so good. Yeah, this is why I'm kind of excited that they push they keep pushing back. Um, that by the Masquerade too. Because that's yes, a game I'm sorry, excited for. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, it's one of those things where I love Vampire the Masquerade, the original game, and the RPG. Um, I've, been, I've been playing the RPG for about five years now. I love it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just like I got I got super stoked. It was just like it was supposed to be launching about this date. Um, and then they said, yeah, we're pushing it back a month. Um there's another, there's another game I was super excited for that's been pushed back because, um, and I quote, we didn't want to get killed by... Um, what the fuck was that game I was just talking about? By, by the Masquerade right. and Battlefield. Yeah. Because I, that's... Res- Sorry, mate. I got all the respect in the world for developers wanting to push a game back because it means yeah. it's not finished. Yeah, exactly. Part of it is... It's not finished. Part of it is they didn't want to compete with, Clash. yeah, because yeah, they're just like, right, okay, this is a really cool game. We can bring it out here, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It's 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 difficult, isn't it? Knowing if you're going to bring something out, if something else is going to steal the limelight off it, because these people yeah. have been slaving over this game for years. Yeah, the last yeah, thing exactly. They wanted for it to come out and for it to just drop into a hole and just, just tank, yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely. It's nothing sad. There was a game that that happened to a few years back, wasn't there? What yeah. was that? It was a, quite a big one, from what I remember. And it came out at the same time as another huge release, and it yeah. just sort of just fell by the wayside and just sort of disappeared. I have That's a vague recollection of a PS4 game. Right. And uh, there was sort of like a guy with sort of like a quite futuristic, smooth face mask on. There's this massive hole where his eye is, and that's just staring out. Right. I can't remember the name of the title. Was it Dishonored? No, 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 no. no. This is way before Dishonored. This was back when you were still living in Swansea. <laughs> right, okay. But yeah. I can't remember. God, I don't know. Right, hang on. PS4 exclusives. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember that. Yeah, I just don't want to look for that one that sort of came out and then just kind of disappeared. Yeah. Um, anyway, another game though, as we're yeah. on, on, the, on the subject of games, uh, did yeah. you ever play Dying Light? Yes, love it. Second one's coming out in a few months. I know, and I'm excited. It's December, isn't it? It's gonna be, it's gonna be good, mate. It's gonna be good. Well, hopefully, it's gonna be good. If it's anything like the first, it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. 
The first was brilliant. Um, absolutely terrifying in the night when those extra zombies would run after you. Yeah. I enjoyed the parkour elements, though. That was really cool. Yeah. It's like, that's why I was kind of excited for... Um, right, that's why I was excited for Cyberpunk, because it was just like, right, all the all the bits I love from Assassin's Creed, from Mirror's Edge, da 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 all these bits brought together in a universe that I love and, and sort of, like, inhabit. It's just like, this is going to be fucking perfect. Wait a minute, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it, was a, it was a shame. I bought another Cyberpunk game as well. Um, yeah. Cyberpunk, yeah, Cyberpunk S game uh, called Ghost Runner. Yeah. I've, I have vague recollections. Yeah, I've never been more infuriated with a game in my life. Yeah. You get one life. Yeah. It's all parkour. And yeah. the element is, is you have a sword. Yeah. You have to, it's basically, it's a 3D first person hack and slash, I guess. Yeah. With parkour elements. But yeah. you've only got one life. And when you get a shot, which it happens yeah. all the time, frequently as well, yeah, yeah, you just respawn and you yeah. go through it again, oh. uh, or and even respawn back from yeah. the checkpoints. But yeah. it's so infuriating. I managed to yeah. get through three Shouted. levels of it, and I thought I was going to. I just said to myself, right, I'm going to leave it there, yeah, because it, it's so infuriating. One game that I saw my nephew playing earlier today that I just went, "How are you playing?" That was Hollow Knight on the Switch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks really cool. Yeah. I like it, but it was just literally just watching him, and I was just like, brain cannot compute. <laughs> They're young, mate. That's the thing, you don't... What? Know. Yeah. I still think I'm able to play games like that. I'm not. <laughs> no. Well, this is it. I mean, we went to um, some play zone or some such nonsense. Yeah. And it was just like, they went wild. They, they had an hour and a half of just running around... Being kids, I was just like, grand job. And they were just like, you gotta come see this, Uncle Joe, you gotta come see this, right? That's okay. Uh, there's a few big slides in this place. And it's just yeah. like, alright, fine, mm -hmm. y'all have fun. And literally, there, there's two that are sheer vertical drops. And they literally just go down. Yeah. And it's just like, literally, they just went, why aren't you doing this, Uncle Joe? And I said, <laughs> because I will die. I'm at least double your age. If I break a bone, you're not getting home. Yeah. <laughs> I could yeah. straight to A&E. You're getting stuck in A&E with me. And, uh, you know, no. There was a slide like that in Oakwood Park. Yeah, I in remember. It went yeah. straight down vertical and then had this yeah. real like shallow bump at the end, shallow yeah. but deep bump yeah. at the end. And then it would just spit you out onto a concrete floor. Yeah. Listen, to it. I was just like, yeah, no, but they got me. You know, it was the case of right, fine, grand job, Uncle Joe. You have to go on the slide, Uncle Joe. You have to go on the slide. <laughs> All right, fine. So I went on the kiddie one. Nice. Did and you know, just sort of like what? Did you fit? Quite happily, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a case of it's this one of those ones that's quite shallow, but there's bumps and humps and all the rest oh, of it. Fun. They are good fun, and I just sat down and my one of my nephews was next to me. And I was just like, being a nerd, I just filmed it. I was just like, right, ready, set, go. And I literally, I just leaned back and boom, <laughs> straight down. Um, I, yeah, I think the video is like eight seconds long. Nice. <laughs> it's just nice. like, he just got stuck at the top. And I was just like, I'm waiting. Nice. It's I'm good not, fun. I wasn't really any good at slides because I was a bit too big. But I yeah. used to really enjoy water slides, especially yeah, yeah, at Swansea yeah. Leisure Centre. And yeah. you have to go down the water slide. You always just go down head first, and you get shoved yeah. out. As soon as you go down, you hear, you hear the lifeguard blow the whistle. <laughs> Don't do that. It's too late. You're down it. Yeah, you, too late. Down. I'm going. Adios, suckers. <laughs> yeah. So you can get a hell of a lot of speed before you hit the, the yeah. deck at the, at the bottom. Yeah. Before you hit the, the water. It's good fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah. yeah. My wife wasn't so uh, wasn't enjoying when she went to centre parks a few years back. You know, yeah. they've got that, the one in Longleat. They yeah, got that, the rapids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically, you set off, and the rapids take you through. Yeah, uh, and push you through the the rest of this winding, yeah. winding yeah. path. Um, well, Hannah unfortunately got to a point where she managed. I think she managed to turn over. The water had spun her over. 
Yeah. And she only would see everybody else having fun. You just see Hannah bopping up every now and again, taking a deep breath and being dragged back under. Oh, and oh, she got oh. to the end. She looked so confused. How the hell did she get from right, all yeah. the top right way down to the bottom? Yeah. She didn't have any oh, recollection oh, oh. of it. She didn't see anything other than just being under the water and being propelled around the place. Um, of course, I give her a lot of sympathy and laugh my ass off. Uh, yeah. I knew she was okay. But, As um, is your want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was just crazy to watch. That was hi Hannah, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And she goes, yeah, what a great time! And then she jumps off. Yeah, and then she, where's she gone? I can't yeah. see her. Where's she? Yeah. How's she at the end? And she's yeah. just like she just looks so 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 baffled. How the hell did I get you? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the place I want to go back to now. As soon as yeah. a, a thing is sort of normalised a bit more, centre yeah. box. I love it there. Cool. There's uh, a YouTube, so talking about water parks, there's a YouTube series, but there's a YouTuber by the name of Tom Scott. Right. Uh, there's a lot of it, um, sort of like educational and interesting bits, but he's also got a group of mates uh, known as the Technical Difficulties. Some may know them. Um, and they've got an episode with, um, I think it's Matt Parker, the stand up mathematician. Right. And they talk about some famous roller coasters and the like. And there's one place um, that had the world's first loop de loop water slide. Yeah. Uh, the whole story behind it is, you know, they they uh, they got the geometry wrong. They went for a nice circle rather than sort of like a, a different shape because if you're doing a circle. And they were relying purely on speed. So literally just like, whoop, whoop, gone. Um, but rather than sort of like, um, sort of like using G-force and stuff. Uh, force, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, the quote was, um, they were, the, the uh, staff were asked to test it. They were paid $100 to test it. Yeah. Um, and people would regularly get stuck at the top <laughs> because they weren't going fast enough. And they were basically a hatch had to be cut in at one oh point God. because people because literally you're staring down a straight face. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. literally, whatever happens, you're going to win back and you're going to carry on. Right. So they li literally, um, the quote was, "There was not enough money in the world to buy enough booze to wipe that memory from my brain." Wow! And yeah. it was just one of those things that forever has stuck with me because the like the original roller coaster was. Mines. There was a mine in America which had a whacking great hill straight down to where the train tracks were because, right. for whatever reason, they couldn't build the track up the hill. Yeah. Um, so they literally had donkeys pull up empty, um, empty trailers um, for the coal. They'd load it in and they'd send the trailers down. Only they'd send the donkeys down with it rather than just having a team of donkeys at the top of the bomb. So literally, the donkeys got a ride. This got this got one of the guys absolutely just like oh that's so cute that's so cute da 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 and then just like a sort of like turn of the twentieth century there was an idea that you might want to go down a hill fast for fun yeah uh, that is entirely how like the world of roller coasters and huge slides and all the rest of it was born is that really it's all thanks to some bloody donkeys if you want, <laughs> if you want to watch going downhill. Um, yeah. What did you say? What's the last sentence you say if you want to um, want to have some fun going downhill? Just change yeah. it because I can't remember what you said. Yeah, yeah. Um, look at the Gloucester cheese roller. Cheese. cheese oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's on Netflix it's, as well. Yeah, it's gotten it's gotten seriously um, more dangerous as time has gone on yeah. because there's not as much medical support. Because the St. John's ambulance were just like, yeah, right, we're done. We've had enough of this. The event is officially cancelled. And they still do it. Well, yeah, of course. Traditionally. <laughs> See, there's a point where tradition becomes fucking idiocy. And I'm not sure where they lie. Well, you get a free cheese, mate. So, you know, you can have that attitude. But some of still my like beating it. heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it but looks they, fun. It yeah. looks fun. It's not as it's not as idiotic, in my opinion, as um, the Ottery St Mary tar barrel rolling. Oh, 
where they would set fire to a massive barrel tar and you've got to hold it above your head on fire and try to run through a, a, a crowded street uh, before the, the tar uh, explodes and covers you. Uh, Genuine, like class action lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, uh, but Hannah, because Hannah's from well, Hannah's not from, but she she lived yeah. in uh, in yeah. them. Yeah, and um, she was explaining about it, and I thought I didn't think she was telling the truth. I was like, what well, the heck? Yeah. Might be doing that. I don't know if they yeah. still do it, but yeah, yeah she showed me online. Like, so it used to be a thing. Yeah. yeah, mental, absolutely crazy. crazy. There's no way in hell uh, you catch me doing that. I, I do the cheese roll, and that looks like a bit of fun. Yeah. And you get a free cheese, mate. The thrill of the hunt, old man. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you don't hunt animals. That's, that's, that's not fun. But hunting cheese. Now, now that's that's a manly sport. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. If, you, if you watch, there's a documentary on Netflix. You can tell what I watch, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this woman is showing... Uh, one of her shoulders, and she's like, "Look, this yeah. is a normal shoulder." Yeah. And she pulls the top uh, down a bit, so yeah. you can see her other shoulder. Yeah. And her shoulder is dislocated, and they can't put it back in. Yeah. There's a great big lump on top of her shoulder. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's from cheese rolling. Yeah. It's run down the hills. Well, this is it. As a kid, as when I was younger, I thought, "Okay, this is pretty funny because you can literally just rack doll down a hill." <laughs> yeah. And yeah. now I'm just like, I'm nearly thing. forty. Roll that for a for a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still it still appeals. It's still it's it's quite fun, but I think it is definitely for people who are at least twenty years younger than you or I. Yeah, I mean you're pretty accurate there, I reckon. <laughs> but still, it's good that it's going on. I, I I still like the idea of it of it going on. I don't know why. It just uh, it seems right. It appeals to the silliness. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I, I quite like the idea of it. You know, um, chasing a cheese down a down almost a sheer drop of a hill, knocking his yeah. is every every way. And conscious as you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only to you know, hopefully land in your bum when you get down the bottom, and then start running after the cheese. And if if you're the first, if you're the first to grab the cheese, you win. Nice simple rules. Yeah. First best. Worth the rest. Yeah, absolutely. I found something the other day that I bought with you. I realise I'm pointing at my monitor because that's why you are off the <laughs> camera. Okay. <laughs> Is that the sheep from Worms? Yep. Ah, when, when did you buy that with me? Oh, God only knows. It was when, um, it was around the time that we got those hard drives. The Seagate ones, and then we upgraded straight away to Western Digital. Oh, that was uh, yeah, that was yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Really, was it that then? was what was it then? It was around that sort of time. It was Bernard. Oh yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, oh decent. Yeah, I, well, I don't even remember you buying it. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. I just like I have vague recollections, and that's about it. It's a great oh, game, though. interesting, interesting stuff. I have a new job. Oh, are you waiting for somebody? Sorry, just yeah. thunder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I am um, a writer for Gamer Hub. Oh, nice. Yeah, so um, I have an interview with a certain someone coming up in the next month or two. Um, relevant. Not to that, but a game we played as Guns. Really? Yeah. Worms? No, 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 younger than that. Walk, 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 wee! Lemmings. Oh, lemmings. Psychosis. Yeah. yeah. I may or may not, I may or may not have an interview with one of the developers of Lemmings. Oh, um, fantastic. Such. Yeah. Oh, so, please. obviously, it's going to be a Game of Hub exclusive thing. Um, but yeah, I'm just super stoked for it because it's like, right, I got the op I got the option to speak to this guy or Dominic Diamond from Games Master and such, and it's just like, oh, I think I'd be too busy fangirling over Dominic Diamond because <laughs> I I loved that guy as a kid. 
go to uh, always psychosis. Psychosis wins yeah. every time, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just absolutely amazing. Fantastic little Liverpool studio, from what I remember. They were yeah. um, they were bought out by Sony, I think, and then they were dissolved. Yeah. Uh, worst thing that ever happened because they they, yeah. they developed some incredibly good games. Shadow of the Beast right. Two, Lemmings, Worms. Yeah. Some really yeah. good ones. The original GTA. This this guy I'm interviewing was involved in that. Was he was he part of DMA design? Yeah, uh, left Rockstar North about ten years ago to um, join another company and now he's basically developed the second iteration of uh, a game design program. Oh nice. Yeah. So how did you so, get the gig with Game Out then, mate? Eh? I'm a friend of Fred. Really? Literally, um, yeah, this this guy I went to see doing with um, one of my other friends, literally, um, I'd known of him for a while, and we sort of like, we had a lot of mutual friends, a lot of mutual interests, and he just put a post out and was just like, right, if you're looking to start writing for fun and, you know, all the rest of it, and possibly get paid while you're doing it, send this guy a message. We had a messenger interview for, you know, the interview consisted of about five minutes, realistically, of actual sort of like question and answer. Yeah. And then it was about 40 minutes of us just chin wagging. It was great. That's a about twenty nice interview. But, yeah, about 25 minutes ago, he, he goes, by the way, I am offering you the job and I do hope, sincerely hope you'll accept it. I was just like, already done. <laughs> you know, handshaking off the go. So yeah, um, but he's still trying to set up um, sort of like the stuff for the newer guys because I basically I used to review video games and stuff um, maybe five, six years ago and I've done other reviews since and it's just been like, it's been something I've wanted to get back into and then this came on and I was just like, ding! <laughs> it's a great, great opportunity, that. mate. Exactly. Um, you know, the, it's a case of they have, basically he's um, my boss Gavin is hoping to get the site live by the end of November, beginning of December. And uh, he's basically got seven interviews lined up as our launch um, with sort of like legends of Scottish gaming. So um, there's Dominic Diamond and there's a few others, uh, including like live streamers and event uh, organizers, stuff like that. Um, but there's also sort of like videos and sort of like articles and all the rest of it. So it's going to be really that's going to be fantastic. If he wants a bit of free advertising, mate, I'll happily have yep. him on the podcast if he wants to come on. Bang, I'll send a message. You know, I just, uh, today yep. I've got the website up and yep. it, uh, embedded all the players and stuff. So, yeah, so yep. yeah, if he wants to, mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a Scottish lad, but he's, an abs- he's absolutely hilarious. Because that's a good opportunity for you, mate. How is that going yep. to work with your full-time job, though? Um, so, essentially, I okay. Um, once things are up and running and we are making money, I get paid by the article. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. So essentially, even though I'm still at work, you know, I put like two, three articles out a day, Yeah. that's still, you know, 10, 15 quid in my pocket that I wouldn't have through any other means. Yeah, of course. So it's like, okay, and then obviously on a day off, I can literally just go, right, okay, what can I find? And I'll literally just like troll for an hour and then I'll just like time posts and just go, right, okay, I've made money on my day off. You know, which is kind of nice. It's, al- it's always, I've always thought, it goes back to what we said originally yeah. at the beginning of this, of yeah. this, about working and everything. I've always thought it's quite silly to have one stream of income. Yeah. Because as soon as that stream gets throttled or you lose that yeah. stream, then you just. Right, that, yeah, but exactly. It's, it's a great idea to have more than one. Um, mm-hmm. And especially if you can juggle that to a point where you can write constructive articles and talk about yeah. games and, and you yeah. know, interview people or whatever, yeah. um, you're going to find it really beneficial. That, that, I've got a feeling yeah. that that's going to take you somewhere. Yeah, well, this is it. I mean, literally, the only reason that I, I've got this interview with this gentleman uh, is because my boss is helping him hire people for his game studio. So literally, it's it's a bit of you scratch my back, I scratch yours. But it's also a case of Gavin's helping him pick out sort of like the best developers around. Yeah. Who are, they're bringing people in for these jobs, and he's just like, right, okay, so, so you're helping me out. How about you help me out? 
And that's how a lot of it's been so far. It's been a case of me and my mate Chris have just been like, so every so often we will literally just get together, have a coffee, and just talk about this, this job. And it's just like, right, okay, how can we help it grow? What can we do to bring it up a notch? So I, you know, we've got a Facebook group that's just sort of like ideas and brainstorming. So I literally just went, well, you're obviously doing YouTube and Facebook Watch and stuff like that. Why don't we just like have one video every week that is just about stuff that's been missed, stuff that people may have missed from the website, stuff that didn't make the cut for the edit, you know, stuff like that, that is still, you know, important to us, but isn't necessarily newsworthy, or we can just, like, recap points that we felt were missed out in the um, reviews. Yeah. And it was just like, that's fucking epic. Can we all have that? Can I give you a couple of suggestions as well? Just from what yeah, I've been spending years on social yeah. media and YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And the more you can automate, the better. Yeah, absolutely. So if you use IFTTT yeah. or a service yeah, like that, send that so far, then, yeah. Like with me, whenever a video goes live on YouTube, it also goes live on Facebook, my Reddit page, it goes live on my Discord channel, it goes live everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Twitter, um, you name it, Tumblr, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And the idea this is, is you're hitting out as much as yeah. you possibly can. Yeah. Just from, I, I'm, I'm, you know, from, from one post sort of thing. Absolutely. And I mean, that's, a lot of that is Gab's job. He's really good at that sort of stuff. He does, you know, back when it was still pretty big, when it was, um, X, XBL Gamer Hub, that was his job. He was literally just get everything out there, get it done. Um, and, you know, it's a case of if I can help him with that, then all to the good. Yeah, and I still make myself a bit of money in the process. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. And you never know with something like that where it's going to take you. Even if it's exactly. something that you decide that the three of you yeah. grow. Yeah. And you decide that actually this is going to be it. You know, yeah. a thing all on its own, or if, if you yeah. stay there for a few months and then yeah. move on to somewhere else, it's yeah. a great opportunity, mate. Absolutely. Well, this is it. I, I've got a ticket to um, Resonate next year, ready booked. Um, he's paid for that. So that's a that's big great. gaming festival in Glasgow. Yeah. So I'm really stoked for that because I've never been to Scotland. Have you not? No. Oh, mate, it's a lovely part of the world. Well, this is it. Ever since I was. Primary, primary school age, I've wanted to go to the Orkneys, I've wanted to go to Scarabray. Yeah. And it's just been like, that's been bucket list. Um, so yeah, I will probably like take a week off work and just go up, hit resonate, get absolutely blind drunk, and then be like, right, okay, I've got the rest of the week in Scotland, let's go to the Orkneys. Yeah, yeah, see as much of it as you can. Yeah. Because this time. is it. You, you know, back, I don't know where why this has popped into my brain all of a sudden. But as a primary school kid, when I was about maybe five or six, we all had pen pals in the Orkneys. Oh, really? Yeah, because we had, because um, of the BBC uh, micro school system and everything, that was all interlinked. So even back in the day, we could still sort of like talk to people in Scotland and sort of like see what life was like up there and all the rest of it. And it was actually in absolutely amazing and then we did uh, we read a book in primary school about sort of like this um, this island on, in, on Orkney and I was just like okay I want to go that and my dad's into his archaeology and stuff so he says like okay we can do that and it never happened yeah well it's happening now yep this is it so I can't remember whether it's March or April next year Scotland I'm having you oh that's going to be good mate it's going to be great fun well, I think I'm going to have to call it a day, mate, because I'm starting yeah. to flag massively. 